Many of the most inquisitive humans of the Earth may begin to wonder what is so significant about Nibiru and the solar system, laying out of the fringes of this galaxy. What the lineage of the Earth must come to terms with is that never have you ever been alone and that my planet and our shared day star are the homeworld to the Type Eight civilizations. Part of this coming to terms will entail the exploration of a large scattering present throughout the solar system, including the Earth. It is all here for us to rediscover, despite the lies your governments and other elites tell you. At some point, the Type Eight discovered that Nibiru was on a collision course with a young gas giant. This body was roughly the same age as the Earth, which at this time was void and without proper form. The people of Nibiru went right to work, hoping to stall future calamities. These ancients picked a lunar body surrounding the gas giant to set up base. It was an odd thing, with red sands, plentiful waters, and a sublunar body regulating its rotation. Most importantly, it was habitable. Here it may be pointed out that in the seasons following, my people came into existence, as we were created at this time for slave labor. The pendant of Silet remains aptly named, even if it was something else altogether. I never got the medallion back, in part because there was no need. Playing the cello, I used the tiny portion of real power bequeathed to me by Silet, and drew forth everything in the pendant but for two items, which Silet held back. I received all the residuals, the power of the three wearers before me, Silet's psyche, and the psyche of an additional Debiran who never wore the charm. When Silet crashed the transport, she had time to take my mum's mind with, as she followed Sheb and Bray Rindra in death. That is my secret, and you are only reading this now because I have passed. Silet held back the psyches of Mika and Catherine, and used them as a catalyst with which to destroy the medallion. This was the cause of the palace fire, which chased my heels en route to the Orion system. It sometimes occurs to me to wonder, did Mika blame it all on me, and was unaware that her deceased mum was running the show? Was she even aware that copies of her and Catherine's psyches were the only thing residing in the pendant's wreckage?